Bonjour. My name is Olivier Ollier. I am a behavioral and brain scientist at the University of Provence that is located in uh, Marseille, in the south of France. What I do on a daily basis is trying to understand how the brain works and how the brain influences our behavior when we make decisions. Uh, how come we trust people? How come, uh, in spite of all this knowledge that we have, we still do things that can harm ourselves at the personal or collective level? So uh, what I'm interested in is uh, the psychology and the neurobiology, and both equally important in what I do. Also, I try not to stick to academia, and this is why I'm also a scientific advisor to the Center for Strategic Analysis, the so-called Neuroscience and Public Policy Program, is to try to find out whether behavioral and brain sciences can help designing, evaluating, and implementing um, new sorts of policy making strategies, prevention in public health, economics, finance, uh, education, and also ecological behavior. So we try to, to get from uh, uh, social psychology, social neuroscience, differential psychology, all these elements that make us human. I think the next generation of leaders will have to be able to cope with uncertainty way better than what has happened in the past. When you look at the past decade, incredible events have occurred, and these events were not in textbooks. So the next generation of leaders will definitely have to face this challenge. And the challenge will not be just coping with the events being able to manage them, but also to rethink the way we train people. Because training people in the way that has been done before, just like, all right, event A happens, hence you have to apply this strategy. This might not work, because what happens when things are new? Overall, this is something that I hope I can bring uh, to the efforts, the collective efforts of the YGLs. Um, not only my passion for human behavior, my expertise in behavioral and brain sciences, um, together with bridging them with public policy and not just being someone working isolated in the lab. But uh, the thing is that when I see this amazing community, because we're definitely talking about a community here, when I th first met them, um, we were in Dubai for the summit on the global agenda, and I discovered this family of young global leaders with incredible talents, every person being even more amazing than uh, the other one. But the real strength is that uh, the collective efforts, the group is stronger than the sum of the parts. And uh, maybe with the YGLs, uh, this is clearer than anywhere else. When you see how uh, these people who are all leaders in their respective fields are able to understand what someone in a strictly different field is doing. This is amazing. And I hope I uh, will be uh, um, up to the challenge. I uh, definitely hope I can bring this uh, human touch, this kind of more rational approach that we're developing, meaning that it's not about emotions or rationality in a dichotomic way, but definitely that both are intrinsically interconnected and uh, in more rationality is definitely what I want to, to bring. Hence, uh, I'm hoping that by becoming a 2011 YGL, um, the help of others, of a community, the task force, and all the work where I want to be involved uh, will help me uh, raise the bar and achieve things I wouldn't have been able to achieve on my own. Of course, uh, another aspect I can bring is my cooking skills, but I'm not sure this is the time and place to talk about them.